Hi everyone, hope you're well, and welcome to vitamin B5. Now, the interesting functions of vitamin B5, again, one of the forgotten B vitamins in a lot of health conditions, is panathenic acid. It's involved with energy metabolism. So one of the things we've been looking at with the previous B vitamins is this. We're looking at vitamin B1 for glycolysis, vitamins B2 and B3, we're moving into the Krebs cycle, electron transport chain. Vitamin B5 comes through into the energy pathways. Let's just imagine the side channel of the Krebs cycle. So we're looking at acyl carrier protein, we're looking at fatty acid metabolism, and we're looking at driving those fatty acids into the metabolism for energetic pathways. So people always think of carnitine, for example, with fat metabolism which is correct. In this case, if you were to add a little bit extra vitamin B5 to that, you're going to enhance that functionality because it's working with the metabolism of fatty acids and fats, lipids in the body, cholesterol, phospholipids, overall fatty acids, and of course, amino acids. So again, it's part of this digestibility pathway, energy pathway and metabolism of energy. Vitamin B5 works with the stress response. So we all hear about the fight or flight response, the stress response overall. Do we run? Do we fight? Do we, you know, what do we do? Or do we stay put and metabolize and work through that pathway? Vitamin B5 is for that longer energetic pathway. It's a stamina endurance vitamin. That's the way I think of it. The others are the spark plugs. Get the other B vitamins, I should say, are the spark plugs and they get the whole system up and running. Vitamin B5 is that longevity of energy pathways. We're looking more at the deeper side. It does work with um, you know, the adrenaline aspect, regulation of cortisol as well. So there's other little pathways that it's working with in the background, as well as that stamina endurance pathway. It's a precursor of coenzyme A, which has multiple functions in the body, particularly our nerve and brain function, cell to cell communication as again, a lot of these B vitamins do, and it triggers the immune cells to produce cytokines. So we are looking at the metabolism of various different pathways, energetic pathways, cholesterol, fatty acids, as well as looking at the immune system response. Vitamin B5 is also one of the main vitamins for wound healing. So we generally think of zinc and vitamin C for wound healing, but vitamin B5, works with the wound healing pathways. It's like the knitting up um, effect. It's quite interesting to see. And if you think about it, the more stressed you are, the slower your wounds take to heal. So there's a bit of a link there that we need to think about. The doses of B5 tend to be around 10, 15, 20 milligrams. Again, it depends on the person in front of you. Um, assess the case. There are times when you give high doses, depending on the level of stress. But like with anything, we can generally start off low and then, you know, make our way through the different dosage levels. 